I'm Andrea. I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're Shanti, Shanti Shanti. Today we're going to talk about healing mantras, but not any healing mantras, not the healing mantras from our healing, healing mantras, mantras course. course. These, these are different ones. Yes, these are actually tied to the Sanskrit alphabet. And what's neat is the Sanskrit alphabet is composed of really pure tones. They're very, very simple and they're, uh, they're structured in a really neat way. And this is, we're going to take just a small section of the Sanskrit alphabet and teach those to you so you can chant them. And these are called the semi-vowels. We're going to cover what's actually called the uh, semi-vowels in the Sanskrit alphabet. And these are actually associated with chakras, with the chakras. So these are our chakras, are our energy centers along the body. Like this, right? Yes. So when we are chanting these chakras, we are realigning and rebalancing and all opening. the energy centers and opening them up if they were closed. Uh, all the energy centers along the body to help improve one's health and mental state. And also, um, what's nice is that when your chakras are open, they, um, it, in it improves your prayer life and it improves your meditation experiences. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and teach these to you. And um, they're really neat. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're simple. And we have a little song that goes along with it. And that way uh, you can chant along with us. And you, you can now mark on your list that you know the uh, semi-vowels in the semi Sanskrit alphabet. Yes. And then basically you could actually chant the whole Sanskrit alphabet and that unto itself would be its own meditation. And its own practice. And its own practice and it have its own uh, profound effect. So we're just going to teach you a small portion of it. Yes, that you can use. So no one gets overwhelmed. Yes. <laughs> and these are really fun. Again, these are healing mantras, which means that they do have an effect on your physiology. Mm -hmm. um, but these are, these are uh, not instead of the healing mantras from our healing mantras course. course. Totally yes. different. This is a good practice though before you get into the healing mantras course. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to go through and just say them really quickly. Okay. So the first one is ya. Ya. Ra. Ra. La. La. Va. Va. Let's ya. Ra. La. Va. Let's do it again. Ya. ya ra, ra. La. And Va. va. And it's not ra, it's <laughs> like you're from Texas. It's, it'd be more of like a Spanish R. Like with a little bit of a roll. Although ra. if you're from Texas, that's fine as well. Yeah. But this Sanskrit is not tied to a Texas accent. Accent, this is true. So we wanted to say ra with a one little flick of the tongue, ra. Ra. Like arriba, but although that has a lot that of flick. has a lot of flick, yeah. So this is shorter than that. It's like a short arriba, <laughs> like a little one. <laughs> so one more time. Ya, ra, ra la, va. va. Okay, we'll sing you our little song. It's a E minor. Yara lava, 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 yara lava. Yara lava, 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 yara lava. So you can feel those, the energy running through your body. And realigning. And you can sing them, say them, and you can also meditate on them. So anyway, please subscribe to our channel. Please find us on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Shanti Shanti 108. And please share our video so we can get our messages out to everyone concerning Sanskrit. And these pure vibrations. And getting them out there to people. Because I think these times more, more so than, you know, many we really need these good vibrations out there not only within ourselves Personally. and within our in living environments but then also within the world so help us get these messages out there and share our videos because we can't do this without our fans and we thank you for joining us thank you.